<laughs> this is oh, this is bad gameplay. This is so bad. It's max limit. Oh, oh man. Stacy just killed me with an axe. Wait, I don't want to hide. What just happened there? Yeah. You know what? No, hold up. You know what? Easy. There you go. Box. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> easy. Oh, come on, Washi. Oh, Washi, I gotta get out of this thing, bro. Hey, easy dubs. What? We won. Wait, what? I'm. I, I'm. I don't care if I get axe killed. I'm still salty over my kill getting stolen. Wait. Was that the winning kill? Oh, that makes me sad. Welcome in, everybody. Fortnite Friday. All right, hold up. Yes, there will be a queue. I just got to set it up. Got to set up. It, it's Friday, but it's a two. I wish it was Friday. Because that would mean a salmon run was tomorrow. Golden rotation, guys, Saturday. All right. Queue is up, but before oh, we do the queue, before the queue, yo, yeah, fill that queue up. We want to see big numbers in the queue. All right, guys, first, before we do that, you know it's tier list Tuesday, so we're just going to do a quick tier list here. All right, today, since it's the end of Fortnite season, we're going to do the Fortnite map. So let me look. This is what I got. Look, I got resources, guys. Look, boom, I got a picture of the map, and I got this. All right, so we're, we're going we're gonna to speed run this bad boy. Tier list Tuesday is a thing now. I don't, I don't know. It kind of feels right. It rolls off the tongue. I don't know. It, feel, it feels like the right thing to call it. It might not be every Tuesday, but, you know, some Tuesdays. All right. So this is what I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to work from this way over. So I'm going to start over here, and then I'm going to work my way all the way over to Slappies, right? So that's where, that's where I'm going to do. I think that's how I'm going to do this. All right. So... We're going to start Shattered Slabs. What's the equivalent of Mar Mako Mart in Fortnite? Hmm. Uh, fields. I think Frenzy Fields would be that. Wait. Frenzy or Slappy? It's one of those two I would say is the Mako Mart. Everyone loves those ones. All right. So, Shattered Slabs. Um, we actually drop here quite a bit. Honestly, it's okay. Um, the good thing is there's like a lot of... A lot of loot there, so that's good. Number two, there's a lot of area that you can, like, get around and, like, get cover. It does have a vault that is used pretty often. Like, that vault is actually pretty good. Uh, that vault doesn't have the floor you can hit with the axe, though. That's my only thing about it. Honestly, we drop there a lot. Guys, we drop there a lot. So, for me, Shattered Slabs is B. It's, mi it's not mid-bad, like mid -bad, but it's, like, middle. It's not the worst. We drop there a lot. It's got... My thing about it is you can drop there. You're going to be safe. Lots of weapons there. And it does have a vault. It does have a vault. Uh, the, yeah, the only thing is the, uh, the claim point is in the bowl. I'm with uh, the humans there. You got to be careful there. You got to be care. Ice... Wait. All right, we'll get to Ice Place. We may have a difference of opinion on Ice Place. Sheesh. All right. Breakwater Bay. Guys, Breakwater Bay. Does anyone go there? Guys, help me out. Breakwater Bay? Like, I guess if, like, you really want to go away from every, everywhere, Breakwater Bay, you'd go? Honestly, for me, uh, it's not the worst. Actually, it's kind of bad. I, ne I, never, I never dropped there. Honestly, I think that's D tier. I, I literally never go there. I just went there. I was met. There's not... All right. First of all, there's not much weapons. Second of all, you're at the, like, corner, and then you're kind of trapped in here because the water's here. Breakwater Bay, I just... There's not much there. It has that castle, I guess. I don't know, man. I'm not, I'm not really into Breakwater Bay, to be honest. Uh, I've never actually had an endgame here. That's the weird thing, huh? I've never had an endgame here. I've had an endgame over here. Like, in uh, Kenjutsu Crossing. Like, this, when, when the endgame's over here, it's gnarly. Because you got to, like, cross this water. You got to drive around. I don't know. I've never had Endgame there. I've never had that. I want, I want that. In, I want that, the humans. I want to try it over there. All right. So, for me, honestly, wait. You know what? I'm too, I'm too harsh on it. I'm going to go C, but it's going to be, like, low C. Because I, I just never go there. All right. Citadel. 
Citadel's bad, guys. Here's my thing about Citadel. Citadel, it's got one building, the little house. This is, again, for drop-in. This is drop-in. It's got loot, a vault, and an NPC. For the drop-in, though? Bro, on the drop-in, if you have a team on you, it's, it's a firefight for, like, three weapons. Now, I'm not saying... I'm not saying for, for moving through the game, that vault there is goaded. I like that vault. So I do like the vault there, but, but Pilk was good. But for beginning game, I'm talking about when we drop in, there's like hardly any weapons. There's nowhere to buy keys. I don't know. It's just, it's not my favorite. I think it'll be, we'll see. It might bump up to C. It might bump up to C. The vault is goaded, but you're not going to get the, you're not going to get the vault when you first drop in. That's my thing. I'm talking about when we first drop in off the bus. Fresh off the bus. Now, if this was where do I want to go to get loot, like throughout the game, we might be talking better on Citadel. Citadel is definitely like probably more B-ish. B-ish, A-ish with the vault. The vault's nice. But for first drop in, I don't know. Not really a fan. All right. Shady Stilts. Um... My problem with Shady Stilts is, again, I don't... It's like, I think we're talking about some hills and stuff. I don't really like the hills. Especially on drop-in. You get, like... You don't got no, like... You don't have, like, as much mobility and stuff in the beginning. It's a C. It's not the worst. Um, I'm gonna go... It's better than Breakwater. Um, it's not great. It's not bad, though. It's fine. You know what I'm saying? Yo, Pilk, check it out. I got a map here, too. Also got the map here as well, if you want to look there. Better than Breakwater, because you're next to Rumble. True. But it's just not that good. Yeah. It's got much more, like, you can get to other places much faster. You can also get to Snow pretty quickly. And we'll get to Snow. Uh, spoiler alert, I kind of like Snow. But, um, it's still C. It's not the best. But if, if I'm dropping here, if you guys... If you guys put the, uh, the marker there, I'm not going to complain. All right. Cheeky compound. Okay. Cheeky compound. Now we're talking trees. I'm not the biggest tree fan. Now, there's going to be a difference between cheeky compound and rumble ruins. We'll see that soon. Because Leaf showed me some things last week. So we'll talk cheeky compound. Cheeky compound for me, there's a lot of area we can hide in. Um... There is so a lot more buildings there. So we do have buildings. We have the, um, what's it called? The capture point is decent. The capture point isn't bad. Honestly, you know what? I think Cheeky's a B. I think Cheeky's a B. I don't, honestly, now I'm thinking about it. You have, you have a, quite a few buildings there. You have some high ground. You have some low ground. The capture point's all right. You got some water. I think Cheeky's not bad. You know what? We're going we're gonna to keep Cheeky's at a B. Now, Rumble Ruins, before I would have said Rumble Ruins would have been a C, but uh, Leaf showed me some things there. You get some, like, killer good loot. You get, like, really good loot there. So I'm going to put I'm gonna put Rumble at A. Now, that's only if you know how to get the loot where you got to drop the purple thing in the, like, sacrifice um, thingy. If you, if you know that strat, it's so good because right away you get, you get solid weapons, plenty of hiding places. Uh, there's hills, but there's like better paths up there. There's bounce mushrooms and there's a lot of the blue um, shield plants. Shield plants are awesome, right? You can drop in there. You can get full shields based on those plants. So for me, you got shield plants. You got a lot of coverage. And you got that killer loot. Killer loot. Um, so for me, Rumble, Rumble's an A tier. All right, we're going down. All right, here's our first S tier, guys. Here's our first S tier. Frenzy. Farm. Guys, farm is, farm is going to be top two, top one, top three. I feel like Frenzy's top two. Uh, so the only thing about farm is, uh, it can get crazy. Far farm is like, 
Got everything. Farm's got the best NPC. Farm, best NPC by far. I love that NPC. Uh, the only thing about um, farm is if you get like six teams dropping in on you, there's a lot going on there. People want a tournament with a cheese shot with an NPC that heals. Yeah, the farm one. She's like really good too. There's another, there's another NPC I'll talk about later that I like, but farm NPC, top tier. Top tier. And the humans, I think that's why they ended up uh, doing storm sickness because of the, the cheesing. Because they figured out, uh, they're like, well, I guess we can't just have five tick. We got to uh, do the storm sickness thing. So this that NPC actually broke the game. So you know what? Farm is great. The only time farm is, uh, is sketchy is if you have to um, drop in with a lot of teams. But there's still like, I mean, there's a lot of loot there. It's cool. I like to fight there too. So farms S, first S tier. All right, Steamy Springs. Steamy Springs. If I remember right, there's not a ton of buildings. Uh, it's got a lot of the hillsides with the cliffs. I don't like it, honestly. I think I think Steamy Springs is a uh, is a D tier. I think Steamy Springs is actually worse than Citadel. It's it's got all those cliffs where you can't move up it. So if someone drops in, and gets high ground, you're cooked. Yeah, Steamy, there's no weapons there. There's no buildings there, really. It's just an entrance to the city. I hate the entire purple area so much. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not a, not a Steamy Springs guy. Uh, that's, to me, right now, worst map. For me, right now, right now, worst map. We'll see if there's anything worse, but I, I think we can confidently say Steamy's probably bottom two, if not worst. Slappy, Frenzy, and Rumble are S for me. Rumble's close to S for me. We'll, we'll, we'll see if there's any... We'll see if there's anything else in S for me. We already know farms. We probably know where Slappy's going. We'll see if there's anything else. All right, but we're moving our way up. Uh, Mega City. All right. Hear me out. Mega City, so much stuff. So much area. Um, lots of cool fighting. I, I, if I want to go and just practice fighting, I go to Mega City. I go to Mega City because, like, you know you're going to get in fights. There's all those railways. Mega City's just cool. Like, Mega City's got cool factor. For me, Mega City's a solid B. I think Mega City's, like, highest B, pushing towards A. Because, honestly, like, you shouldn't get killed there right away. If you're flying in, you should be able to get weapons. There's so many buildings. Mega City's, like, it's hard. I grade harsh, so I'm going to keep it at high B. It could go up to A. It could go up to A. Vault, v the v now, that vault is like the one everyone fights for. For some reason, that vault is always like the craziest. And you got to like that, uh, the, the screen turns red. Bro, everything's cool there. Can I swap spots with number four in the queue? My food's... Yeah, go for it, Uncle P. You're good. Yeah, you're good. So for me... It's going to be close. This may, this may move up to A. It's like, it's, like a plus, it's like A minus B plus. We might come back to that one. All right, let's move up. All right. So let's see, let's see if we get agreement here. Brutal Bastion. Personally, I really like Brutal Bastion. If, if we're talking about like non-sweaty locations, we either drop here, Brutal Bastions, or, sla or uh, Shattered Slabs. I like, I like Snow better. Once I'm done destroying the fajitas, then I'll get some dubs. Sounds good. Brutal Bastion is beyond S tier. Brutal Bastion, to me, it's like, it's, I think it's S. Honestly, I th it's going to be the lowest S. It's going to be the lowest S, but it's really good. I love dropping there. Um, and because of that, I feel like Mega City is going to move up, but we'll see in the end. Ice places like Mako, wait. Is I wait, Ice Place doesn't have the vibes? I'm telling you, Ice Place got everything, man. It's got it, it's got a lot of area. And if you get like, let's say you, you're dropping in here and there's a lot of teams, there is like a couple bounce pads you can get right back out. I love like you really can't get caught off guard there. And there's a lot of loot. And but there's no vibes. He said there's no vibes. I don't know. I like the snow too. I do like the snow. 
All right, so for me, so for me, Brutal Bastion, S tier, I love it. All right, I guess we'll go kind of like around this way. Lonely Labs, honestly, Lonely Labs is fine. Like, the good thing about Lonely Labs is it's by Brutal Bastion. So the only time I really come down to Lonely Labs is, let's say like, we're flo we're, we all mark Brutal Bastion and we see like four teams, right? Four teams coming in. And we're like, you know what? We don't want to fight four teams. We go to Lonely Labs. It's got a lot of stuff. There isn't anything like super great about it, but it's not bad. I think it's a B tier. I think it's honestly probably like middle B tier. I like it. I like it better than uh, Shattered. I like Mega City better. Honestly, I think Mega City is going to go A anyway. But Lonely Labs is great. And then you got a good build off point from there to move into um, into Brutal Bastion too. So. You can like do like secondary like claiming a brutal bastion, or if um, you're in lonely labs, and then the vault opens up and you got the NPC bosses there, you just jump to brutal bastion. It's right there. Uh, lonely never has anyone there exactly. Real safe and it's got like a lot of stuff. Plus you can get over to brutal bastion. It's not the best, but honestly, it's like I like that it's like connected right to brutal bastion. So it's pretty good. I'm gonna give it. A, I'm gonna give it a high B. It might end up being the highest B. All right, Slappy. Slappy, this is, this, is another, this is another dub one. Slappy, honestly... Honestly, I think Slappy's the best. I think Slappy's better than Farm for the reason that Farm... If you get in a fight in Farm, you're going to get in a fight in Farm. Like, you can't escape. Like, if you drop in a Farm, it's right away... You grab your weapon, you battle it out, right? Slappy, you could do the same thing, or you can go in, you can kind of chill, you can get your stuff. Um, the thing about Slappies is it's got all sorts of um, buildings, tons of loot. This probably has the most loot of anywhere. The claim point is on that bridge, which is actually pretty decent. It has the, um, the shield truck. You can, jump, you can jump right into that shield truck and get full heals for your team if you want to go that way. Slap Juice is everywhere. I love Slap Juice. That's one of my favorite items in the game. And they got it just in cans. You can just break those. Plenty of weapons. Um, it's like got like, I don't know, like five different levels. Um, the NPC there is really solid. If I'm feeling in a fighting mood, it goes like this. If I'm ready to brawl, I go farm. Farm number one. But if I'm not in a fighting mood, or if I'm like, I want to fight, but I want to be safe, I go slappy. Milk. It does a body good. Stacy does not like Rumble Ruins at all. Sheesh. She, she came out alert to say Rumble Ruins is trash. Wait, have you ever done the purple thing, though? Have you, under, have, have you ever sacrificed the purple thing? You get, like, good loot, though. Get that good loot. All right, so for me, Slappy, number one, number two. All right, Naughty Nets. Guys, anyone? Wait, have you? I, I don't like bees. I mean, the, the dinos are fun. If you claim them, I never claimed one. Exclamation bees? Wait, how do you feel? Oh, yeah, Stacy, how do you feel about Brutal Bastion? We're curious to see. Wait, not a fan of ice or now a fan of? Oh, wait. Stacy and Uncle P on the same wavelength on snow. Whoa. Hey, that's pretty good. All right, Naughty Nets. Honestly, guys, it's not the worst. I don't like it because you're, it doesn't have much loot there. Usually, nobody drops in unless the bus goes like over and then everyone just drops in and everyone's fighting for two weapons. There's just nothing there. Early game, I'm trying to get supplies, right? If I'm coming here, I'm not getting supplies. There's, there's so many better places that don't have a lot of fights. Lonely Labs. Uh, Shattered Slabs. Bastion. That, why would I drop here? There's just nothing here. Uh, so for me, Naughty Nuts, there, there isn't anything like really horrible about it. But there's just no supplies. I'm going, I'm going with, it's... I think it's I think it's D tier. I I just there's just nothing there. So if I'm dropping in, I need supplies. What am I getting in naughty nuts? Nothing. All right, K 
Kenjutsu Crossing. All right, this one is better than Naughty Nets. It has that one big building. It's got a few other buildings around. There's like some bamboo and stuff. You can actually get some things here. Again, it's not great. You're kind of pinned down here. Plus, you got to cross this water. You got to come across here. I don't know. It's not horrible. Um, it does have some supplies, so it's definitely better than here. Let me look. Is it better than Breakwater? I think it's better than Breakwater. I think it's Mid-Sea. Like, it's not great. It's, it has stuff. You know, it's like mid to high C. Um, I feel like, let me see. Shady Stilts is better because I can, the only reason I, oh, actually, you know what? I would say Shady Stilts is better because you have better access to Brutal Bastion, but you got tree issues here. You know what? I think it's the highest C. I think it's the highest C. It's pretty, it's pretty safe. Has this been the map since the game came out, or there added areas? All right, I believe that the map changes every chapter. Guys, wait. The map, the map is different every chapter, not season, right? So, like, chap we're in chapter four, season three. The, the entire map changes, like, if, when we go to chapter five, right? I, I got to ask the experts on this. It changes over time, but I don't know how often. Now, I know, like, I know, like this changed for the... Um, uh, what's it called? For the, um, the crossover, right? The Juju crossover, but, like, it's similar to what it was before. But I think, like, the main map itself doesn't change. The Dino Area showed up between the two seasons I've been playing now. Oh, wait. So they add things, but I think, like, the actual, like, big areas don't change? But I'm not sure. Again, I'm not, like... This is really the first season I played a lot. The only thing I do remember is I played, uh, the Marvel season. And I think the map was fairly different. I think the map was, like, fairly different. Hey, Zippy, welcome in. Zippy, it'll only take an hour. Zippy, your account will be, um, like, full in an hour. It just takes an hour. All right. Uh, what is faulty splits in Anvil Square? What? All right, guys, you got to explain this to me. Bro, they gave us extras. Uh, what are these? Does, does anybody know? That's one of the Hammer Bros. That's Juice's bro right there. Does anybody know what faulty splits in Anvil Square are? I have zero clue. I'm looking at... I, when, I, when I pulled up this thing, I, I looked at... I was like trying to remember. I'm like, I don't remember it. So then I, I actually grabbed the map. I'm like, oh, it's got to be here. I literally don't see these. Old locations? All right, yeah, so we're done. We're done. This is the official, my official tier list. My official tier list. So, uh, top tier, S tier, because I don't know those two. Top tier, Slappies and Farm. Super close. Uh, middle Jungle is where Anvil was. But it's no longer there, right? RIP Anvil. I wonder why they changed it. Uh, for me, also, S tier, Brutal Bastion. I'm moving Mega City up. So I like Rumble Ruins. I think Mega City's A tier because it's exciting. I think Anvil Square is the one that just got replaced with Dinos because the name is familiar. All right, that makes sense. Stacey's coming through with that uh, Chapter 4, Season 2 knowledge. I only know Season 3. Uh, B tier, these ones are fine. Lonely Labs, uh, Slattered, and uh, Creaky Compound. I think all of these are basically good connectors. So like for me... If I'm coming into Brutal Bastion and it's too crowded, I jump here. So I feel like these are just like good connectors. These ones in C are like kind of out there, right? Like we look, Breakwater's way out here. Uh, and then like Kenju Ken uh, Kenjutsu's down here. So it's really like kind of inconvenient and there's just not like a ton of stuff. And then these ones are inconvenient or... Um, they have big hills you can't climb. Or, like in the case of Citadel, uh, it's just a tower. You can't really get nothing. And they're not really, like, close to anything where you want to go. So that's my official Tuesday uh, tier list for the week. This week, where are we dropping? Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 3. All right. How good am I doing? 
How am I doing? Does anybody have anything in here that you're like, bro, that's way off. Like, that's, that's like, ridiculously off. And while you guys do that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start my Fortnite here. Is there anything that you guys are like, yo, that is, that is horrible. I feel like today I was better. In Splatoon, I think, like, we had some, like, uh, differences of opinions. And this one, this one's pretty good. I feel like this one's all right. Honestly, look how, like, even it is, too. I will say they change it a lot, too, so that's a good thing.